Diving can come with many risks, and some locations are bound to be more dangerous than others, and that's exactly the case of this blue hole right here. This is the world's deadliest diving spot. Hundreds of divers have lost their lives here over the years, and the reasons why this blue hole is so dangerous are incredibly strange. Today we're going over what makes this the world's most dangerous diving site. So first off, I think it's best to look at the geography of this dive site. It's a blue hole located in the Egyptian Red Sea, and it's one of the most popular dive sites in the region. One of the odd parts about this dive site is that its reputation doesn't keep people from coming. In fact, it seems to draw in more divers from around the world. So what exactly is a blue hole? During the last ice age, sea levels were much, much lower than they are now. This exposed a lot of limestone rock, which got eroded away since it was exposed to rainwater. This created a cave system, and when sea levels returned to what they are now, the caves were covered with only the outer rim exposed from the top. You can kind of think of it as a vertical cave. This is what creates that incredible contrast in color in the water. Now let's share some of the dive stories from this blue hole before we go into why it's so dangerous. Now there's a countless amount of stories to choose from, but I picked two that perfectly represent why it's so dangerous. In the early 2000s, a group of dive professionals took a trip to the blue hole to go diving. They would be pushing well over 100 feet in depth. However, that was a regular thing for them. But two of the divers ended up getting separated from the group on the dive. On their search for other divers, they ended up venturing too deep before suffering from nitrogen narcosis and eventually sinking down to the bottom of the blue hole at 400 feet. Another diver was doing some technical diving, and the plan was to venture down to around 300 feet to explore the bottom of this blue hole. Eventually, the diver went deeper than anticipated, reaching depths of around 400 feet. After realizing this, he then shot up to the surface way too quickly, where the effects of decompression sickness eventually took him. There are literally hundreds of these stories to go around, and they all carry the same theme of divers going too deep without even realizing it. Many divers end up suffering from nitrogen narcosis, a syndrome that happens when a diver goes too deep, and it causes the person to feel and act like they're drunk. The air inside of a scuba tank can only go to certain depths. And once you start pushing beyond that, nitrogen narcosis becomes a big problem. So why is it so easy to make mistakes at this diver's cemetery? Especially with how commonly it's known how dangerous it is. First off, it goes back to the unique geography of this blue hole. It drops off incredibly quickly, which makes it very easy for divers to get disoriented and lose track of their depth. All it takes is a diver to go something as simple as 10 or 20 feet deeper than planned for for it to be life-threatening. The water at this blue hole also changes drastically the deeper you go. The amount of light and visibility decreases drastically once you get over 100 feet, again making it incredibly easy for divers to get disoriented. The transition from clear and calm to dark and murky happens in the blink of an eye. It's also worth mentioning that with the loosened diving regulations and competition in the area, there are many unlicensed dive shops in the area renting out cheap equipment and taking divers way beyond on their limits. They do this in hopes of standing out against their competition and perhaps even getting a better price with the promise of going deeper. This has in turn killed many divers over the years, which is all the more reason why this site is so, so dangerous. It's just so incredibly unique how easy it is to go too deep inside of this blue hole. Most divers are incredibly in tune with their environment and constantly watching their gauges. However, this location is an exception because despite that, divers still venture well beyond their limits. It's believed that nearly a thousand divers have been lost at this site over the years, which is why it's nicknamed the Divers Cemetery. It's actually become relatively common for divers inside the blue hole to find pieces of equipment from divers who were lost. This footage right here is from a fatal diving accident that happened here. The diver quickly becomes disoriented once reaching depths well over 300 feet. I won't share the whole video out of respect, but it's assumed this diver completely lost control of his buoyancy and started sinking rapidly to the bottom. That's because during recovery they discovered that his BCD had actually popped open because he tried to fill it with so much air to float back up. In my last Dive Stories video, we talked about the Perea diving disaster, and I thought this topic was so interesting that it warranted its own Dive Stories video. It's so fascinating and scary how a spot that's so beautiful and popular is also the deadliest location on the planet. Scuba diving can have its risks, and those become very apparent at this blue hole.
Make sure to subscribe with notifications turned on so you never miss out on new adventures and more dive stories.